Hello, and welcome to the Simon Searchlight webinar on how to read your genetics lab report for copy number variants. Participants often ask us questions about reading their genetic testing lab reports. In this video, we hope to break down your copy number variant genetics lab report in a meaningful way to help you understand. In this video, we will not be diving deep into genetic concepts that will be covered in future webinars. There are many genetic testing labs, and reports from different labs can look a little bit different, but they all have the same information. We'll use this example report from a lab called Integrated Genetics. Up in the top area of the report, you'll find demographic information, your child's name, birth date, the sample type, such as blood or buckle samples, which is a cheek swab, and the dates when the sample was received and when testing was completed or reported. Moving down, you'll often see the test name. If you have a copy number variant, a CNV, you likely had a microarray test. This is a genetic technique that looks for missing or extra genetic material. On the report, you will find more information on the type of microarray, such as an SNP, which is just one of the many microarray tests. The result will tell you about what genetic material is missing or deleted, or what genetic material is extra or duplicated. This report shows that a 611 KB is missing. KB stands for kilobases, a unit of measurement for DNA. The results section also shows the location of the change on a chromosome. This one shows that the deletion is on chromosome 16 in the 11.2 location of the short arm of the chromosome. Finally, we will point out the interpretation, where information is provided about what this change might mean. Here, it states that the loss of this genetic material causes a syndrome called 16P11.2 microdeletion syndrome. There are many other items that can be included on a lab report, like if the change was passed on from a parent or if it is a new change that is not seen in either parent. De novo means new, and the change was not inherited from either parent. The report includes whether the condition is autosomal dominant or autosomal recessive. This tells you how many changes are needed to cause a particular genetic syndrome. One change is autosomal dominant, and two changes is autosomal recessive. Other information on a lab report might include the parameters the lab used for the test and the list of genes that are missing or extra because of the copy number variant. As you know, these reports are often several pages long. We hope this has been helpful in making more sense of your child's report. If you have any additional questions specific to your child's report, please reach out to us and one of our genetic counselors will be in touch. Thanks for watching.